Welcome to the Daily Slog News Review. In our top story, exoneration of the former Prime Minister on two corruption charges generated a political earthquake of 10 on the Olmert scale. He noted that, quote, other than the day that Arc Sharon went into a coma, this is the happiest day of my life. In the end, he added, all that's left of all the cash in these envelopes is for me to pay my lawyers. Seeing the political bounce the trial gave him, Shaul Mofaz requested that the state prosecution indict him on anything. Seeing that the boss's secretary, Shula Zakin, was convicted and the office holder not, convicted rapist Moshe Katsav wondered, how come this couldn't be my fate? Finally, Hamas apologized for the bullets that fell on the Yad Mordechai border crossing restaurant that were fired in celebration for Olmert. In diplomatic news, Russian President Putin arrived to be welcomed by President Perez with the traditional Russian-Israeli greeting, Yesh Neshek. When asked the true reason for his visit, Putin responded, I wanted to learn how to make the opposition disappear. In a phone response to his client, Bushir Bashir, he said that even though he was in the neighborhood, he was too busy to drop in. In political news, Yochanan Plesner called his committee a success. Look, he said, the Haridim only heard about it and already declared a general call-up. The Haridim said they would agree to being drafted if Plesner would wait six hours between interviews. One solution to the draft problem was for Mofaz to enlist his vote collectors, who have already proven themselves in registering thousands of Arabs and Haridim. Former Kadima leader Tsipi Livni returned to the news with her participation in the Queen of the Desert Journey. In Kadima, they humored her with the acknowledgement that for them, she already is the queen of the political wilderness. For Mofaz, it proved she really does love to sleep with snakes. In related news, Ahmed Tibi objected to the naming of the Israeli Space Center for Ilan Ramon, but proposed a compromise of a center for victims of sexual harassment in the name of Chaim Ramon or a sailing center in the name of Hanin Zuavi. M.K. Mikhail Ben-Ari of the National Union Party proposed his compromise of sending Tibi into outer space and naming the center in Taipei after him. In scientific news, in response to the CERN discovery of the Higgs boson, Israeli researchers found an even tinier particle, Chaim Ramon's new political party. The Israeli theological question arriving from discovering the God particle was, where was it during the Holocaust? The summer's first arson-inspired conflagration on the Tel Aviv-Jerusalem road found the Interior Ministry fully prepared from the lessons of the Carmel disaster. All prison wardens were removed from the scene. The summer's opening also brought out the first violent social justice protests, which did result in one achievement, that bank branches were open on Saturday night. In response, the banks quickly developed a glass-breaking smartphone application so clients could break bank windows remotely. The police asserted that those responsible for the damage would pay for it at an interest rate of prime plus a half. Finally, in cultural news, everybody's favorite bad boy, Yigal Amir, emerged after 17 years in isolation to a mediocre Guns N' Roses appearance in Tel Aviv, only to ask, hasn't anything changed? Thanks for watching.